All right, folks, I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, Panasonic SH3433 uh, Techniques also has a branded version of the um, same audio scope. Um, what you're going to notice right away is, is that this thing was originally a, a four-channel scope, um, giving you the sort of the X pattern um, on the front of the screen, kind of like an old Marantz uh, 4400. Um, I had modified this with a switch in the back so that I could actually go to two-channel mode and right now the uh, X is only showing the front channels because I only have the X uh, uh, working or I only have inputs on the, the front two channels. But I put a switch in here that bypasses the circuitry that uh, makes the X pattern for the four channel mode and allows me to do uh, stereo mode. And uh, what's also nice is that unlike most audio scopes where you know, the stereo uh, or the mono signal goes on the 45 degree axis on this particular scope. Um, in stereo mode, uh, I can do it straight up and down. So that way, when you get a, a strong left signal or strong right signal, it, the the uh, pattern leans to the left or leans to the right. Um, took quite a bit of thinking and figuring on how to do that uh, in the schematic, but I, I figured it out and really liked the results. Um, so that the thing can be used as a two-channel scope um, um, or a four-channel scope. But probably the more interesting uh, challenge on this thing was uh, the original scope tube had a pretty bad burn in it. And this is some crazy uh, 75A... AJB1 scope tube with uh, narrow pins and and just unobtainium scope. I waited for years trying to find one of these on on uh, eBay and other websites and and never came came across one. And so um, I talked to uh, one fellow on a nice guy on eBay. He said, you know, why don't you just try converting it to a standard scope and I said boy maybe I could do that so got a 3RP1A which is they're super expensive but at least you can get them right um, and uh, and went ahead and did all the work so of course the pinouts are different and so I had to patch in a connector and then patch in uh, all of the um, signals from uh, that went to the old connector, um, cut and splice all those into the new connector with those all of those connectors. So that part actually was the easy part. The, uh, the, the harder part was just sort of figuring out that, you know, the, the scope, the the gains for the XY deflections are different, um, the uh, gain values or whatever you want to call them, the voltage values for the focus and other things are different. So I had to go into the power supply um, and uh, change a few resistor values to get the focus and brightness um, back to uh, normal. Um, for this particular scope and then I also had to go into the to the circuitry and do everything I could to sort of incre increase the amplifier gains driving the deflection plates because uh, the gains on the 3RP1 are lower than the um, uh, than the original scope and so I had to go in and, and uh, do quite a bit of mods to the amplifier circuits Not, nothing terribly difficult but just reducing some of the lossy areas and increasing the gain. The The front end is all discrete. It's not uh, op amps or anything. And so um, there was quite a few headroom problems as well in the original circuit design where, you know, the front stage was clipping before the backstage or, you know, so I had to do some fiddling around to get as much headroom through the system without clipping because any clipping shows up as uh, oddities in the scope signal. 
Um, so it took quite a bit of work to get that done. And, uh, but I figured it out and I'm actually pretty pleased with the results. I've got a three RP one in there and uh, it's behaving really well. Um, there's the um, left, right, X, Y uh, uh, signal. And, and then there's the audio signal. Had to do some work to try to um, widen, for lack of a better word, widen that scope screen as much as I could because again the gains are lower on this tube versus the original tube so I had to uh, increase the uh, 60 hertz signal level um, to the um, uh, to the x-axis uh, the horizontal axis to try to widen that out as much as possible because it, it, it uh, by default it was pretty narrow um, that's about as wide as I'm going to get without doing any more serious mods, but I'm pretty happy with that. I don't, I don't mind the, um, the, the start stops there on the, on the left and right most of the screen. Pretty happy with that. So this is all working really well. So you get the gain and crank that up and get really some exciting signals there. Had to do some work to rebalance the brightness and the focus. Um, but uh, yeah. That's all about taking a four-channel audio scope, um, converting it for two-channel operation, and then also getting rid of the, the unobtainium scope tube and at least replacing that tube with an unobtainable, obtainable scope tube. Um, and uh, even though they're expensive, at least at least you can get it. And um, so uh, there you go.